Hi guys, it's me Karen, and I've come to show you a little bit of happy mail that I received um, over the weekend. And I have uh, someone to thank, well actually two people. Um, this one here, I was given permission by her to uh, go ahead and give you her first name. This is Deborah's gift. She gifted me the other one too, so she gave me uh, volume two. And I wanted to show you, oh, excuse me, still getting over my cold, what's inside this one from the uh, one I showed last time. And it's going to be the same outside cover. These covers are just awesome to feel. <laughs> and then the inside of the book. And I love this book belong to page. It's just beautiful. And then, like the other book, it's the um, please do, please do not do areas here. <clears throat> and then you get into the book. And you're going to have kind of like the same uh, in the other book. You'll have a little section here on um, introduction, nameplate names, tips and um, things that you can do in the book. And I'll try to skip some of this stuff that we had last time. Okay, and then we have you're ready to play with color with a beautiful bird on it also. So I am going to do a little bit through the book. It's done in the same kind of pattern, where on this side of the page you have a piece of the big page or picture on this side, along with um, like this area here where you can put your colors in if you like, and then tell what colors you used over here. A little lined area where you can put in a thought for the day, or if you want to explain what you did. Now, the one thing I didn't mention in the last book is on the back of the main designs, there's the back page. This is the title of this picture here. And then it has colored by, so you can put down your name and the date you colored it if you like. It is black backed, so you can use your markers and stuff. Just remember to put a piece of plastic or a couple of sheets of cardstock behind here so it won't bleed through this page and onto the next beautiful page. But that is a, a really nice feature in this book. She also says that you can um, take the pictures and put them on your own paper if you have a photocopier. Um, I have a HP, what is it? It's a 4520. It's just a, a laser jet printer. <clears throat> And because this side has got a bigger margin than this side, I can take the book and roll it back and just scan it right into my printer and have it copy it, which is nice. So I can copy it on watercolor paper. I did that with um, this page. So it's on watercolor paper. And I'm gonna try to <clears throat> color that up. So the side of this page, the beautiful birds. And we got a little bird over here. <laughs> Just gorgeous. So I'm going to kind of flip through it quickly. I've seen this one colored. It's gorgeous. You can print this on, on like I did, watercolor paper, uh, cardstock. You can also use um, colored papers and use your like fine liners or your gel rollers and color them in. Beautiful pages. And we got some elephants. Kind of that uh, Madela-like look in the background on down here. Then you have the elephants reversed on the other side. Flying leopards. And bunny rabbits. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Butterfly rabbit. That's good butterflies, isn't it? One's for head too. Those are really pretty. These books are just filled with yeah. creative little. I'm not gonna say critters because they're not all critters. But, and I love how she's done these pages. They're all different. So we have a big bug here and a little bug in the front. Beautiful moth here. 
Go to the flat. Put a lot of fun into all these books. Gorgeous horse here. Oh, cute cat. And then puppies, if you're into puppies. <laughs> Who can't be into a little puppy with a little face like that? A little bandana on him here. We got the two. We got a little mouse or mice. Mouse, mice. I have two books to get through, so I'm kind of going a little faster. Excuse me for just a second. Okay, it's a nice butterfly here. So it'll be fun to color. And the little pieces of it there. And we've got two little guys down here. They're foxes. And then we have a little chameleon lizard. Neko and Cressy. <laughs> I have this page. This is the umbrella to the snail. And I've got a lot of the snails. <laughs> I haven't colored this one yet. I have not printed some more on my desk. I haven't been coloring lately. I've been in bed. Got my little bubbles of the same fish here. And then they have a sea dragon. These are beautiful. Just cute. Sorry. <laughs> then we get into a caribou. He's in the snow. That'd be great for the uh, Christmas in July color along. Polar bears. They've got Christmas trees behind them. That'd be pretty all in blue. And then we come back to the um, back page where you get your color charts again. And then you can put down your um, color swatching in these pages. And they give you quite a few of those. And each one has a beautiful page behind it. This one has the birds. And then you get a, a little bug down here on the back. And then these are the pictures that are in volume one. And then you have a couple test pages back here also, which is great. And then she has some art that has been colored for her. So you get a kind of an idea of what you can do with your pieces on the inside. So that is book one, and I love that these are so, mm, and they're not plastic per se. Okay, so like if it was dirty, we could just get it wet and give it a wash. And it dries right off, which is so cool. So then you have a clean book, all dry. I love these books. Okay, so <laughs> that is one. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. Now I have two of those. And I also need to thank <laughs> somebody for her. The last book in the series. There's, um, I believe, one other book that she does that's a kind of like a daily planner. And I have a daily planner, so got all her books. It's cool. <laughs> so this one is Insect... Insectum... Imaginary. That I can't pronounce because I'm on cold medicine. <laughs> but this one is going to have, if you can't guess, insects in it. And uh, like me some insects. Look at the ladybugs. Aren't they adorable? So the same um, goes with this book. This is the book belongs to Paige. Look at the cute little bees. They're adorable. You get the list of all the pictures and what pages they are on. It goes up to 105 pages. You get your introduction, your tips, your do's and don'ts. 
and when we get into honeycomb bees. And then you get the little flowers here, the bee, some honeycombs on the side. I've seen somebody doing this in a buddy color, doing a gorgeous good job too. Okay, and then you get the uh, black page on the back of all of these also. This is a beetle. He's cute. And then you um, get some of these pages are done on black. So you can go in here with your fine liners or your um, glitter pens and just do the outlining in here. Or you can get, um, I have some of those opaque um, gold, silver um, watercolor paints that would just woo, be beautiful on there. Stickles would be nice on that too. Anyway, <laughs> we got a dragonfly. Look at that page. It's almost like a bookmark on here. Then we have a mantis. And I have her beautiful sun and moon. And we have some moths. Little fuzzies. <laughs> More beetles. I like these black pages. That's going to be new and fun to do. Oh, I like the uh, framing of that one. It's really pretty. I got a cat pitter. <laughs> He's cute. And this is a rock skimmer. Those little bugs that float across the water top. This is gorgeous. Here's a beetle. See that all done in green. See, he's got a little, little leaf on him. I want to look at some mushrooms. We have a butterfly in here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Is this the guy on the front cover? This little guy? Yeah. <laughs> right there. So if you like to color insects or want to try coloring on black, this is a great book. More like bumbles, bumble beach. A little heart on his back. <laughs> I'm missing a page here. There we go. Dragon fly. Maybe this is the guy on the front cover. Oh, this is cool. Now well, that's done. Another Luna butterfly. We have the little cocoon. The little caterpillar that <laughs> is all stages of life here. Then we have one in, on a gray background here. It's beautiful. Almost like feathers on the leaves and fruit. That is on the wings and leaves coming down on the bottom end. <laughs> Grasshopper. Dragon flies, that's pretty. And then we have our little uh, color wheel here. The little bugs on this. <laughs> that's cute. And then our color charts on black and on white. So if you have any of those colors that go great on black paper, this would be a great place to put them down, test them out. We have a little bug here in the back. 
That's pretty too. Then kind of a wallpaper, wallpaper colored page. Wow. <clears throat> so sorry. And then you have a um, practice sheet in the back to check out your medium. And here's the beautiful colorings of some of the pages and who they're by. Oh, those are beautiful. So I want to thank my two subscribers who were so generous in giving me a little bit of happy mail. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you all for subscribing and liking my videos. I appreciate you all too. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you shortly in a video. Bye now.